Hello everyone, welcome to another video here in the studio. So today I'll be sharing tips to consider when applying to an artist call. So to make this video more helpful, I will be mirroring my screen so that way you guys can see how to go about artist calls, what to look out for, and things to avoid. So with that being said, let's get started. So this website that I would recommend applying to artist calls would be Cafe Call for Entry. For this specific website, you do have to sign up. So you're gonna have to put in your email address, create a password, and then you'll have access to the artist calls and you can also save them. Just say, let's say if uh, you're not, you don't wanna apply, you find the artist call uh, interesting, but you can't apply to it right away, then you could save that artist call for next time. Uh, so yeah, that's what I like about this site. Um, so yeah, make sure that you log in uh, and you're gonna go ahead and click on artist login. You're going to put all your information and it's free so you don't have to pay for anything. So once you are logged in, once you have your account set up, you're gonna go ahead and click on find calls and then you're going to filter by the, the call type. So depending on the career you are, if you're a photographer, if you're a painter or a sculpture artist, a mirror artist, then you're going to click on this plus sign here and then it's going to show the different call types. So for example, let's go with uh, public art. I paint murals, so I would be, I would click on public art. And one thing that I want to mention is that if an artist call is asking you to pay for a submission, don't do it. I've never paid for an artist submission in my life, so I would not recommend that at all. And just to save us from the stress or just, if you don't want to see those fees, just go to entry fee here, click the plus sign, and you're going to move that bar all the way up to zero so we don't see those. Some of them may still show up, um, but we're going to disregard that. So let's get started. <coughs> I'm going to do some water. Mm. Oh, I was thirsty. All right, so let's move on. So what I like to do is take my time in reading the small descriptions that they have here. And what I like about this website is that it shows you a snippet of what the art project is about. So that way, if I am interested, I can save for later. So we're gonna go ahead and just scroll down and I'm gonna pick and see, choose which one resonates with me. So let's see, Old Town to no. Um, it's gonna be this public art opportunity. Rocky Mountain Lake Park. Let's see. Hmm. I don't think this is a mural. Well, let's see. Let's click on it and see what they're talking about. So if it has anything to do with the mural, then I would more than likely um, read more. So, okay. Also, one thing that I would highly suggest you all, a tip that I would suggest is to read the description. Please read the description and the qualifications for the project because, for example, the eligibility is only open to artists or artist teams residing in the state of Colorado. So, quick backstory, I had applied to maybe two artist calls without fully reading the description. Well, I thought I read it, but I think I skimmed through it and I submitted my art proposal and that took me like, what, two or three days to do. And I got an email back like a few days later stating that, sorry, we have to reject your application because you are not a resident to where the artist call is being held. So I was like, crap, if I didn't, if I would have read it, then I would have known that this wasn't for me. So really, 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 really important tip is to make sure that you are reading the artist call from top to bottom. So let's take a look at what else this artist call this artist call is about so far so good it's 18,000 and it's a public art project unfortunately if you're not residing in Colorado then you can't apply deadline is Monday August 14th awesome so then they have an introduction to what the art program is about and what they are looking for so it seems here they are seeking to commission an artist or an artist team to create public artwork. So from the looks of this, it seems that they are looking for artwork to put around or, or to hang up in different areas of the city. Um, doesn't look like a mural opportunity, unfortunately. So let's see. 
public art overlooks the lake easy okay medium materials okay so this is where you'll determine if this is for you so the media materials it says here art looks to be created using diverse media including but not limited to sculpture paint and mosaic application so from looking at this i know that this wouldn't be for me because number one i don't work with sculpture uh i don't do mosaic and i am not into lighting so like we're gonna we're not gonna even move forward with this project so we're gonna keep scrolling we're gonna keep doing some research and usually for some of the artist calls they'll have like mural art so that way you could it's easier um but oh perfect so this is a mural at let's see a theater in colombia so real quick before you even and sometimes I look at the budget and if it doesn't fit with what I would charge for a mural then I'd say forget it it's not worth it so it's really up to you if you like to apply to the um to, to an artist call um but yeah really do keep in mind that some of the budgets are ridiculous and when I say that like it's like low ball like you really they really be playing they really they really be putting out these low ball budgets it's crazy so really know your worth when applying to these and that's why I dedicate uh, to applying to an artist call per month because um, it does take a lot of time uh, so yeah that'll be another tip is to make sure that you are collecting or saving artist opportunities that fit within what you would charge for um, a mural or an art work or project so no that's a entry fee we don't do entry fees unfortunately um let's see what else do they have here they have a let's see what else they have the artist roster all right so this looks good i mean you know their budgets for murals are ten thousand to a hundred thousand dollars which is a lot so i'm gonna click on this and see what they're talking about so it looks like this is in a city of redondo so i just go scroll down to introduction to get an idea on the projects or just the program in itself so you'll just read the introduction, request for qualifications, and short RFQ. Do you see an RFQ anywhere that needs request for qualifications? At first, I'm like, what the hell is an RFQ? What, what, what is this? What is this uh, sorcery? Um, so yeah, the roster, let's see, it says the city is requesting artists interested in being included in the roster. So for this particular um, artist call, they're asking artists to submit applications to be included in their roster. So the roster will include site responsive visual artists working in any mural medium, which is great um, because I'm sure there's a lot of mural artists that have different styles, techniques. So awesome. Let's see what else. Diversity, equity. Okay, that's great. Um, and how to apply. So I didn't see anything about you needing to be a resident uh within the city actually let me go ahead and see here okay so the whole point of this is to show you all like how to go about um applying to or tips for applying to the call so we're just gonna go um we're just gonna go a little faster you know speed up things a little bit so uh review criteria okay so this is really important because when you are submitting to artist calls you want to make sure that you are following the criteria and criteria is based off of what they are requiring within your submission so if you are submitting a artwork or a proposal that doesn't line up with the criteria then you're it's just not going to happen like it's they're not going to consider you they're just going to leave you to the side and say okay well this person can't follow simple directions so we're going to have to move on to the next candidate so really make sure that you are reviewing the criteria and uh you know you're understanding what steps need or what you need to include within your uh, proposal so also here they have a selection process which then which shows um, the timeline of the overall project and hold on someone is calling me right now I'm pause the video because I got this random phone call and I was curious to who it was okay so anyways now we are going to jump back to what where did I leave off oh timeline so the timeline will show you um the process to um for applications applications when they'll view applications and then the deadline um and then they'll depending on the, the the artist call it really depends sometimes it's very lengthy 
and they'll just give you everything and sometimes it's just like straight to the point like hey this is who we are this is what we need and this is the timeline send us this amount of material and then we'll get back to you so this for example here okay perfect so application requirements so this is where you really want to pay attention you do not want to mess up on this part you really want to thoroughly look through the questions here what they're requesting and really have a large body of work to submit to them because I feel the more work the merrier. Obviously, if they do require six images of artwork, you're only gonna have to submit six images. Um, so for example, this artist call here, uh, they do require six images of your past work. So that could be work that you've done for a client or work that you've done pers personal artwork or anything that you want to uh, show for this artist call. Um, annotation of images so basically a list of your past work with descriptions and the medium you've used and the date it was completed and maybe of a budget uh, sometimes they don't really care about how much the mural cost or the project cost but they just want to get an idea on like what inspired uh, you know this piece or your overall process to uh, the artwork itself so wait is that the same thing as okay anyways i'll have it a moment so resume resume is really important if you don't have a resume please create a resume if you are a full-time artist and you've worked you've done commissions you've showed your work at exhibition ex uh, i can't talk to today ex maybe i just need more water uh, i am so thirsty um, so yeah, you definitely want to put in all of your your accomplishments your achievements on there really show them who you are and you know Submit that resume, you know, submit the resume, make sure that it's edited and, you know, it's not all over the place. Don't add images or add all those extra things to your resume. It's really not necessary. They just want to see your experience. So really make that as professional as possible. Um, references, references from your past clients when you can get, if you got referrals or if you have a um, project that you've worked on in the past, let's say a public art opportunity, uh, hit up the city commissioner or the person that commissioned you for that project to help write a, a letter of recommendation for you. If you guys have any other questions on how to submit to artist calls or any tips and tricks on the whole website or any other websites, uh, please make sure to let me know down below in the description or even let me know down below if you currently uh, go on different websites look for artist calls. So yeah, let's create that conversation and share amongst each other. So with that being said, you guys, thank you all as always for tuning into my videos. I really, really, truly appreciate it. And of course, if you like this video and it resonated with you, if you learned something today, I would appreciate if you would just subscribe, if you would subscribe, share, and like this video. So again, thank you all for tuning in and I'll see you in my next one.